Hey kids, it's Tips Tuesday. So today I'm giving you a beginner's guide on how to unicycle. Alright, let's do this. Tips Tuesday. Step number one, buying a unicycle. This part's pretty easy. Me, I got mine on Amazon. You are gonna wanna pick the proper size, however, based on your height. Me, I'm lanky as a fucking Kong, so I got a 24 inch. If you want the shorter side, go for the 20 inch. If you want a 13, well, you, you probably shouldn't be on my channel. But if you are, go for the 16 inch. They're generally only around 60 or 70 dollars, mostly because they're basically just a wheel and a seat, so that's a plus. Step number two, assembly. Okay, you can probably do this part on your own. They give you directions in the box, so I'm not going to waste your time with this. However, you do want to make sure your pedals are on the correct way. If you put them on backwards, it could make it so they unscrew while you're riding. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Step number three, mounting. Kids, a unicycle is like a woman. It's not hard to get to know a good unicycle, especially if you've got lots of money. But if you want to mount it, that's still going to require some skill on your part. In my experience, however, I found that those things that are hardest to mount are oftentimes the most rewarding. You see this tricycle? This tricycle's a whore. It has a poor relationship with its father, and it does not deserve your respect. Unicycles, that's where the real men play. Here's how you do it. First off, find something to hold on to. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Could be a car, or a trash bin, or Jay Leno's chin. Me, I used my basement's low ceiling. If you can reach yours, I highly recommend it. Next, rotate the wheel so that one pedal is at the bottommost point. That's where your first foot's gonna go. Once you got all your weight on that foot, put the other one into place. As you do so, you will find yourself being placed upon the seat. Now guys, remember how I said a unicycle is like a woman? Well, forget that for a moment, because you want your junk to have as little involvement with the unicycle as possible. Remember in middle school you learned about levers. Well, you're gonna want to use your taint as a fulcrum on the seat in order to maintain your balance. Too far back, you're gonna fall over. Too far forward, you're just gonna castrate yourself. So be careful. Step number four, riding. Okay, remember my woman metaphor? That's back on. When you're riding a unicycle, you require great balance as well as a steady rhythm. Also, you're probably not gonna last too long your first few times, just FYI. If you prefer, you can deflate your tires a little when you're first learning. Cause a flabby unicycle might not let you go as fast, but they're certainly easier to ride. Anyway though, riding a uni is a lot like riding a bike. Except instead of just balancing on your left right axis, you gotta worry about your front back axis as well. So you want a bike, you want to turn right, you lean right, right? Same with every direction on a unicycle. If you want to go forward, in addition to pedaling, you gotta lean forward. For your first few goes, you're probably going to want to hold on to something. This ain't called a crash course for nothing. Fortunately, with the uni, it's very easy to dismount whenever things go wrong. Out of hundreds of failures, I personally only ever landed face first around two or three times. Above all, keep practicing. Eventually, kids, you'll be like that stupid-ass frog meme that everybody hates. And remember, riding a uni is like riding half a bike. You, you only half forget. Sure. Thank mm -hmm. you.